Hey guys, so I told y'all I was going to come back with another video. It seems that a lot of young ladies are using Gorilla Glue, not the spray, to hold down their lace front wigs. There is a young lady on social media who made a video back in July of 2018. She applied Gorilla Glue to hold down her lace front wig and she simply said in her video guys that she wanted to apply it to her forehead on her skin. And this young lady made this video. So not only is she doing this to do the wigs, they're also saying online that they are using it in the beauty salons. When you go and get your wig done at the beauty salon, they are using Gorilla Glue adhesive to hold the wig in place. Now, I did post a picture, guys, from a young lady uh, who had a... Um, allergic reaction which you should um and it caused some breaking at the top of her forehead i am gonna post that picture so okay, okay and like i was saying in the other video guys i was hearing more and more about how people in the salon or like young ladies are using this gorilla glue and applying it to their hair and scalp okay so um when you go to the hair salon they're having wigs and pieces glued on now with very strong industrial adhesives such as Gorilla Glue. So I would never have thought professionals in the beauty uh, world would use such a product. They should know better because it's not for the hair, but they are. This can be a health risk for women and also can lead to severe skin disfigurement. So now the cost of beauty should not be that high, guys. Okay, and uh, the wants and needs of an individual should not be so reckless. So special uh, effect makeup uses a lot of industrial glues and I didn't know that so but for the same thing about it is that they only apply it to the scalp okay and they mask it first with a wig cap I guess that's what they do um this is a way this is that that way there's no contact with the human skin so these glues are very very strong and flammable so you can be smoking a cigarette and just put your uh, front lace wig on and your face catch on fire okay I don't care because it's a, 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 a scalp cap on there Okay, so this way it's not, um, so like, like like they said on the website, because this has gotten me very, very anxious. Okay, this is not, uh, that way it won't have any contact with the human skin. It actually does because you're applying it to the skin. So that doesn't make any sense. So um, once again, um, Model Mayhem says that these glues are very, very strong and also flammable. So imagine smoking with this, apply it to your scalp and you catch on fire. I just said that. Okay, even the smell of the fumes can be serious hazardous to some people's health you have it on your forehead your nose is attached to your forehead so you are taking in those industrial adhesive chemicals ladies i am not sure what is going on with this um wig stuff and why it's so important that you feel that you need to bond that wig down this just doesn't make any sense don't they have the wigs with the like combs or clips where you can clip it to your hair but some women don't have edges some women don't have any um uh crowns so i guess because the glue ate it out so ladies uh please be careful when you're getting your frontals or closures installed a lot of these styling uh stylists are using nail glue oh my goodness now we're going with the nail glue gorilla glue and other harsh adhesives to give you that perfect hold and not telling you yeah you have that perfect hold but what about when you take that wig off and you have to look at yourself in the mirror and your a part of your forehead is missing or disfigured and it's gone or ate up this is just ridiculous. So um, so here's an interesting mashup I found on Model Mayhem, guys. Check it out. So a lady um, came forth and gave her um, testimonial to this. And her neighbor um, had accidentally got Gorilla Glue on her hair and scalp. And now she's trying to get it out. So they're talking about uh, Tessica Brown. She called the manufacturer and their customer service and told her to, they told her to put baby oil on it. This may be another young lady. They told her to put baby oil on it. And then wash it and without rubbing it so personally i would go with the man what the manufacturer says quote this woman but she is afraid to put water on it because the last time she had a gorilla glue mishap uh really how many gorilla glue accidents can you have in one summer so a lot of females are out here um they didn't do a tiktok video but this has happened Tessica brown is not the only one because this is a different woman so when she glued a tile in the wrong location customer service told her that water would make it uh set forever 
So she had put coconut oil on it. And um, as she didn't have baby oil, she has a, a waist length hair and does not want to cut it. She asked me what to do. And I would ask, um, I, I said I would ask around. So don't use it, everybody. It's not worth it. So the uh, Tessica Brown is not the first person to get Gorilla Glue stuck in her hair. And the bad news, guys, and I'm going to give you the update um, because I've been doing some research. Tessica Brown will never, and, and I do say this, and I don't say this allegedly, she will never be able to grow her hair again. Her her follicles, everything is destroyed. So that's the outcome, guys. Now, if they're going to be able to get it off of her head, I don't understand. But she will never, ever, ever grow any more hair. And that comes from her letting it sit for a whole month. It's gone. All of her follicles are dead. And once your hair follicles are dead, alopecia, you can you can probably grow some hair back. But this was an adhesive Gorilla Glue. And it damaged her, her follicles. It's not for the freaking hair. So here we have this lady who made a YouTube video back in 2018. She applied the Gorilla Glue to her forehead, guys, to hold down her frontal. And she shows herself putting the Gorilla Glue on a popsicle stick and rubbing it on her forehead, her bare skin. So one girl posted on the website where the picture I showed you guys of the young lady who used the Gorilla Glue adhesive on her frontal. And they finally got the wig to come off of her hair and it spliced through her skin, making a deep dash bloody hole. Uh, line in her the center of her forehead so a commenter said don't make no damn sense another commenter said what the fuck horrible exclamation mark whose bright idea was that shaking my head okay so i don't know why i read it as gorilla snot you guys are confusing i'm not sure i purchased gorilla snot i have it in my bathroom cabinet and i have not used it um in a while but it's gorilla snot gel not gorilla glue gorilla snot gel is for the hair look at this young lady's frontal and this is from applying Gorilla Glue. So, Tessica Brown is not the only one out here putting it. Tessica Brown just put it on her natural hair, guys. On her whole ponytail to slick it down. This young lady here used it on her frontal to hold down a wig. This is ridiculous. And so, the commenters are saying, Woo, she ain't never going to have no edges ever. What would possess anyone to do this? How sad. Okay, so all that and the shit still be looking fake because you have Malaysian texture on dark brown skin and African features. Does it make any sense? I'll keep my natural 4C naps and plaques. Thank you, God. Okay, and so they're commenting on this young lady's mishap. Once again, guys, this lady did not call TMZ. She did not display it out on TikTok, but this is on a website. She went to, to the salon and let them do this to her, and this was the out. Um, this was the result of what that incident. Okay, so incidentally, this is why I stopped going to stylists. I don't trust none of them bitches. I have yet to come across one wearing these own their own healthy hair except the ones with locks. Okay, so I'm reading through the comments. Okay, I especially don't go for a trim. Too many went for a trim and now my hair is to my ears. Stories, a lot of them don't know how to trim and cut black hair. Okay, so another person commented to the Gorilla Glue um, and she stated, Gorilla Glue, are you dumb? In my Remy voice, that shit ain't made for contact with the skin. My man used that shit to put on my dresser. Oh my God. Together. He put used that to put my dresser together. Anything that bonds wood together has no business being attached to your head. Didn't I say that, guys, in the other video? I said that on the very first video that I made about Tuska Brown when this came out, that it does not say anything about having any contact with the human body on the instructions okay so i don't know what is going on but like i told you guys there are a lot of young ladies out here using this gorilla glue adhesive on their hair they're not only just using the spray like tessica brown did they are using the actual gorilla glue
Okay, so please comment down in the comment section what you guys think about this. I'm going to be digging even deeper. I'm going to try to find out who this young lady is if I have to go to Facebook. But she posted it on an independent website. They took her story and she told it that way. She didn't display a video like Jessica Brown. Um, they did, however, snap this picture. So this is the end result. So if you young ladies want to try this, now imagine if you want to try it, that's on you. Please don't do it, okay? So this is just the front of her hair from the wig with the Gorilla Glue, using the Gorilla Glue adhesive. Now imagine Tessica Brown, her whole head has been glued to her scalp, to her brain. Imagine how her hair is going to look once they get that hair off of her scalp. The hair on her scalp is dead weight, guys. So imagine she's probably going to have all kind of scarring all over her head, her scalp. She will never, and I'm saying this because I did research, her follicles are fried. This is not like perm or putting... Um, uh, peroxide or hair dye on your hair she put a Gorilla Glue adhesive on her whole entire head so guys we just got to keep her in the prayers um, someone commented on the other video that I did that Tessica Brown is 40 years old I am 40 years old and I know better than that a three-year-old wouldn't want any glue Gorilla Glue on their head Tessica girl we don't know what you done did but your life I can't say your life is over, but your hair, oh my God, it's, it's, a, it's a wrap guys. So, um, so another, uh, a person posted, I don't want to make this video too long. It looks like a combination of tension and chemicals. The same thing can happen from a wave wig cap, uh, being too tight. If you feel pain or headaches, take it out. Sis, it's not worth the hair loss, wounds or infections. Okay, so Tesca Brown will be facing some wounds and infections because I don't know how they're going to absolutely get that off. It cannot be shaven off because it's stuck like metal. It bonds metal. So a lot of guys are posting in the comments that they don't feel sorry for Tesca Brown. She should know better. It's common sense. And no, guys, she did not confuse the Gorilla Snot Gel with the, with the Gorilla Glue Spray because she had that around the house to fix things. So I guess she just said, let me go ahead and try this. I ran out of my other one, my hair glue spray. Um, I forget the name of it. And so she decided to go ahead and put the Gorilla Glue adhesive spray onto her hair to hold her hair in place because she ran out of her hair glue spray. And so this is the end result, guys. So please like, share, and comment. Share this video. Make it go viral. This has got to stop the ignorance. It's getting just out of hand. People are not being ignorant. They know right from wrong. You don't put any hair of uh, Gorilla Glue on your hair and it does not say that on the instruction so once again guys please like share comment hit the notification bell so when i make new videos you guys will be aware and once again Je tessica brown will never and i repeat she will never be able to grow her hair her hair scalp is fried okay so until the next video guys i gotta go bye